Hey everyone, it's Jeremy, back with another unboxing video. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, in one of our last unboxing videos, we actually took a look at a Studio Technologies uh, Dante comms box, and that's what we're doing again today, but this time in a different form factor. Here I have a Studio Technologies comms uh, box, and it's funny, it was shipped and we didn't take it out of this box because I believe that this is the box that it's all packaged up in. So without any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it and tell you a bit more about uh, this comms panel just while I'm unboxing it. Get my trusty scissors out here. And focusing, focusing on not hurting myself or anything like that. There we go. All right, there we go. It really was shipped like that. That's that's interesting. So there's uh, there's not much um, pageantry to the unboxing experience of these Studio Technologies uh, comms panels, and I don't mind at all. I'll throw that off to the side. No um, accessories or anything needed. This is a pretty simple device. So. What do we have here? Well, it's a great form factor for something on the desktop. You can also remove the feet and rack mount this if you want. So you have these, these little feet here and each one of these can be unscrewed. So if you choose to do that, um, you can rack mount it and put it in a turret, maybe on your desktop, maybe put it in a fly pack if this is an on the go uh, comm system. So I'm gonna hold it up here. Uh, we have four buttons, just like we had on the belt pack. So this is the model 5304, so different model number, but a really similar functionality to the belt pack. And here, uh, we don't have the push-pull uh, pots. We have just clickable, turnable ones. Since it's not on the belt, you're, you're not as worried about accidentally hitting those uh, those pots so it makes sense these, these knobs are really nice there's a little bit of a click action to them so you can you can feel it click as it goes which has a really nice action to it and these buttons um, as opposed to the belt pack style these are a little bit uh, these almost feel more like a like a hardware switcher um, rather than um, they're they're a little bit bigger and a little bit more uh, soft with it still with a nice click to them so really like the way that this feels though um, right here I see there's some LEDs it looks like eight LEDs which will give you a volume level for your output so that's great as well as a volume level for your your total output and uh, indication of that you get an aux button here super helpful and a five pin headset which is exactly what we saw last time so uh, you can check that out there. Five pins, so keep that in mind when you're thinking about the compatibility with your existing comms uh, system. Super simple on the back here. Dante PoE, Dante Power Over Ethernet. That's how you're going to power this. There's no, there's no adapter anywhere on here for power. You have to use PoE. Uh, if you don't have a switch that has PoE, you can always have a PoE injector in the middle. So that is uh, not a problem in my eyes at all. Just use a PoE injector or uh, get a PoE switch. A lot of Dante switches have PoE uh, that you can use. And when I say Dante switch, really any switch that's compatible with the Dante networks. And always make sure that you're using a Dante compatible switch when you are doing that. Um, we have a firmware update uh, USB type A port here. I don't remember that on the belt pack, so it's a little bit different here. Um, and then we have the remote control 3.5 millimeter TRS port here. So really that's it. We have on the side here, we have some, some uh, threading here. And this right here, this is going to allow you to uh, put rack ears on this if you do want to rack mount this. And those are on both sides. So, um, you know, let's see here. If I, it looks to be half rack. Yeah, half rack. So you could put two of these side by side. Maybe you want to put one uh, in between you and maybe you're the, the technical director and then you have your audio engineer. You could have a turret between you, each one, uh, you know, each one of you gets your own comms panel. So yeah, that's a really great form factor. As 
As I uh, look behind me, I have some other hardware uh, desktop uh, panels from, from Clearcom, and this one is just a lot smaller and a little bit more dense, right? So it's a different sort of, um, of configuration, only four buttons for four channels, but oftentimes that's all you need. The awesome thing about this too is just how portable it is. This is so lightweight. I don't know uh, how much it weighs, but it can't be more than a pound. Um, so if you have this in like a portable rack or something, it's not going to add a lot of weight to a fly pack. So that is a super great feature for this sort of form factor. Or if you're not, uh, you know, putting it inside a rack, just put it down on a desk. Uh, or on you know the control uh, the control room desk that you're in at any given time. Put it down, plug in the Ethernet. It's all set up for you, and then you can configure it uh, remotely. Speaking of remote connections, is we have two here. Both of these are going to allow you to uh, configure aspects of this panel completely remotely. And that's really useful because oftentimes you want a technician dedicated to comms or maybe your audio assistant, maybe even your, your head engineer, your A1, might be doing comms. So um, this allows you not only to pass Dante, not only to get power in, but it also gives you the ability to control this panel remotely. So if you accidentally have someone leave their comms open, it's a pretty common thing maybe they accidentally latched, you can turn it off remotely. Uh, I always want that feature on every comm system I use. So I'm really excited about this box. I'm excited to try it out in our studio here. We have a uh, Dante comms matrix here as well. So really excited to bring this in and give it a try because it's just such a cool form factor, something really simple for anyone to use. If you have any questions about this device, please let us know. We are always excited to answer your comments and we do check them regularly. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.